So what I'm saying is, there's always hope. Just as there is always doubt. Fear, anxiety, et cetera, et cetera. Hope exists for those who choose to see it. And how do I know this? It's because life has a cyclical nature to it. After all, the ending is just the beginning, repeating itself over and over and over again. We wake up, we go to work, we get ourselves an education, we go home, we start all over again. Sorry I'm late. Alcoholics Anonymous is tomorrow night, Connor. Yep, thanks Jamie, you haven't heard that one before. You're looking for a fresh start, correct? Yeah. Well, Connor, it's time you earned that fresh start. We all want you to have that fresh start. You deserve that fresh start. Even if you don't believe it yourself. We all deserve a fresh start. Take a seat, Connor. <clears throat> Breaking a destructive cycle isn't about finding the shortest path available between two points. Again, I will repeat myself. It is cyclical in nature. It revolves. Alrighty, now today we are going to discuss what it truly means to forgive yourself. Sorry I'm late. Hey Jess. Just sit down, Connor. Uh, where was I? Ah, yes, forgiving ourselves. Now, before we can you have to, to do it soon, ourselves. Sarah. The, first thing we have to do is acknowledge the sooner you get it out in the open, the sooner you can Maybe move on. Start mending it. need to forgive ourselves? It's a cliche, isn't it? Forgiving yourself before you can move on? Just do it for me. Yeah? Let me tell you this. Though. Breaking a destructive cycle isn't about finding the shortest That's cool. path available. What is it? Just curious. Nothing much. Then why look at it? It's got your undivided attention for that long. I like the framing. The way he uses light to lead attention. Everything has its place and no space is wasted or left alone. It's... I just wish I could do the same. You know, I say the same thing to the guy I get my coffee from. Do you like coffee? Or does it not have enough alcohol in it? Well, it doesn't have any. When did you get into cameras? When I was young. Okay. Why? The story's really not that interesting. Humor me. I'll be the judge. Um... What's to tell? I used photography as a way to... immortalise what I liked. Growing up, home was a... a place to escape and through the camera I could control what stayed and what didn't, you know? It's... It's difficult to explain. Doesn't sound that hard. It makes you happy, yeah? So why not pursue that? Have you thought about making anything of it? Easily said. Fine, but that's not the point. All the hurt, all the pain you try to escape from. Is it to live or survive? You have something worth living for. Don't keep it a secret. And that's it for today. Next week, we will be discussing ways of overcoming destructive cycles and replacing them with a new, healthier way of living. In the meantime, if you have any questions or if there's anything that's on your mind, you all know where to find me. I'm always here to talk, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see everybody next week. Come on.
you've made some real progress the last few weeks. Um, thanks. I've been trying to. I just, I'm just worried that it's a bit too late for it to have any real longevity. I mean, I don't want you to fall off without having some sort of support group to fall back on. I'll be fine. Yeah, I said that once. Listen, um... Did I ever tell you I used to be an alcoholic? Used to. <laughs> well, I guess if anybody was going to find out, it would have been you. Hmm. How long have you known? A couple of weeks in. Why'd you stay? At that point? I guess I wanted to see a bigger train wreck than myself for once. Five years. That's how long I lasted. Longer than I guessed, I'll give you that. What made you fall off? I figured if I gave up the drink, she'd see that I was serious. Yeah, but, um... Ah, oh, you know. There were bigger issues that I wasn't really ready to face at the time. So you fell back on drinking? You're caught in the same cycle as the rest of us. You know that, right? Yeah, but at least this way I can help, help others before they realise it's too late. Because it's too late for you? What, you can't be saved? You're using this as an easy out. Tell me you see that. Why do you come here, Connor? You know why. Don't. Tell me the real reason, all right? Don't just brush it off like you always do. I need to believe that there's something out there we're searching for. I need to believe my father was wrong. Do you remember what I told you the first time we met? Yeah. Don't keep it a secret. Are you serious? Hello? Oh, you Must be to get you fired up. Oh, hey, Connor. It's just my roommate. I can't even live in my own place. Because of your roommate? Yes. No. I mean, I don't know, she's seeing the same guy. Thoughts? Yeah, it's good. It's a bit dark. Kind of beautifully dark. Sarah, I've been having some... Ah, never mind. Tell me. Why do you come to the classes? You don't seem like you need a fresh start. Mm, yeah. How so? I don't know, I feel that, you know, I feel you're fractured, you're not broken. <laughs> Does that ever make sense? Yeah. Do you remember your father, Connor? Unfortunately. Why unfortunately? Oh, you know, he was, he was abusive and a drunk. Guess you could say I got the drinking from him. <laughs> Shut up, Dad. Shut up.
Shut up. Soon? What are you doing here, Jamie? Have I told you I'm not good at goodbyes? Terrible at them, honest. I mean, why would anyone want to say goodbye? That means it's done, gone, fade to black. Who does that? I'm rambling. Connor. I have nowhere else to go. Why do you ask? Oh, it's just, um, my father had a similar vibe. It's just instead of drinking, it was smokes. And this one time it's kind of stuck with me, I guess, is when I was nine. He told us he was going out to buy a pack and he just never came back. I haven't seen him since. <laughs> Maybe the store was sold out. Mm. Anyways, um, I've spent like, most of my life wondering, like, how he could just abandon me like that. Like, how can you just leave someone just like that? I found him, Connor. Yeah. But I, I don't know if I can stomach knowing why he left me alone. She just disappeared into thin air. It was, it was real, more real than ever before. I couldn't pick it apart. I couldn't tell reality from fiction this time. I had no idea. I know what you're gonna say, you're not the first. I should have been taking them. I know. I don't know. 